Yes, uh, on the question of um, what we are going to do, um, I think there are many initiatives. Uh, and one of the initiatives is what uh, Dr. Gopinath referred to earlier as a report that some of us are putting together. It's a study, it's an elaborate study of, uh, it's trying to map the reasons for crimes against women in Delhi. And it doesn't just stop at that. It actually has a whole set of very interesting, innovative and creative recommendations involving various sections of the city actually. So from the university to NGO, civil society organizations, and there are lots of uh, things that uh, Sanjayji's uh, people would have to now uh, do if the report does get um, accepted. We are still working on it, and I think we've um, worked very hard, very long, and had uh, many rounds of deliberation. So I think something fruitful will come out of that. Uh, about uh, increasing petroling, um, you know, I have heard uh, that uh, the presence of police sometimes makes women feel uncomfortable. So why do you really want more petroling? I think uh, Kalpana and I would actually say that perhaps what we need is eyes on the street, as it were, you know, uh, the hawkers, the vendors, the chai wali, you know, some, uh, it's, it's much better to have a bustling street rather than have a police uh, be entirely in charge of uh, securing your safety. Uh, it's much better to have a street with people on the move, uh, buying, selling, listening to each other, talking. I think, uh, imagine Nandi Niti, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Imagine different colony streets bustling with people and uh, small activities of that kind. Um, education system, sir, yeah. A lot of changes are happening. Uh, we have a lot of uh, emphasis being attached to gender sensitization, uh, workshops, courses, curriculum changes. Uh, I think the way uh, students, actually the energy comes from the students and uh, teachers and uh, decision makers have to respond to that youthful energy. So uh, there's a lot that's changing and I feel extremely optimistic about that city uh, that's one thing and the other thing that I think Sanjayji I will differ uh, with you is about using the city spaces for protests I think um, Delhi has seen some iconic protests and uh, many of us on this panel and many of you here hopefully have been part of these protests and um, tried to duck Sanjayji's lattice perhaps <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I think that's what makes uh, Delhi a safe city. The fact that citizens of Delhi are alive to the prospects, potential and meaning of a democracy. And that's what makes our city so wonderful, that it is a city pulsating with life. So when uh, young Jyoti Singh was brutalized and murdered, uh, the city didn't just sit back. All of us remember what happened. Um, Having said that, uh, I'm going to flag a, a few issues that I think are very important when we talk about themes such as this evening's. I think one of the things uh, that we need to do when we talk about violence in Delhi is to both zoom in on Delhi as a city and pan out, uh, do both things simultaneously. We have to understand that exceptionalizing the experience of violence in Delhi actually does great disservice to the citizens of Delhi, especially the women of Delhi, because it ends up actually creating a culture of fear. Uh, it creates a, a kind of a debilitating atmosphere in the city, which then becomes a justification for surveillance, control and regulation of uh, women's freedoms. Surely not something that uh, Delhi wishes to do. And on the